The new moon has been sighted, Alhamdulillah. This marks the beginning of Ramadan. So, Ramadan Mubarak to everyone from right here in Masjid Al Haram. May God shower His mercy and blessings upon everyone this Ramadan and enable us to make the most of it. And may He accept it from you and me. Okay, so now we are approaching Isha, the night prayer will be followed by Taraweeh. I'll talk more about that later on but uh, for now I need to find a way to get in to the mosque. Okay so I entered through the gate 66 I think it was um, but the escalators kept going up and up and up so I think I've ended up in the roof this is going to the upper floor of the Tawaf area. Whoa, so I think we're on the roof where we can maybe see the Kaaba from the top down. Okay, so now we need to find a space for prayer because it's pretty packed out here. Uh, Let's see if I can manage to find a space somewhere. People are just lining up wherever they can. And these guys are telling them to move along. Can't stop here. Okay, so we just finished the Isha and Taraweeh night prayers, uh, which I'll give more insight about later. But uh, for now, I need to go home and sleep. Well, not home, you know what I mean, hotel. One of the components of the Ramadan day is Sehri, which is essentially the last meal you can have before the fasting begins so this is the last chance to eat something before fasting for the rest of the day the following day um, until sunset slipped
Careful, yeah? Whoa. Oh my god. Drive careful, yeah? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about, zipping through the traffic. This is one unorthodox taxi. That must be a long walk, you know, through the tunnel. This is a nice ride, mashallah. Nice ride. Catching some lovely breeze with this ride, mashallah. Don't drop my phone, yeah? This is the one, this one. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. I walked down to the bus station to catch a ride, uh, pull a taxi and catch a ride with the car, basically. But I randomly just find this guy pull up. He didn't ask me anything or anything like that. I just I just said to him, taxi. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, found a grocery store. Let's grab a few bits. One of these orange juices. Fresh yogurt. Frozen? Is it frozen? What? No problem. No problem? Okay. Can I pay with visa? Bangalini? Oh, mashallah. Visa, visa, no. Mother, no, no, no. Okay. Amani. That's it, yeah, card, yeah. Okay, she got it. Thank you, what's up? It's a little bit of a sign, yeah. Okay, thank you, what's up? Welcome. Slow night, come. Okay, so awake, well, hardly slept to be honest, but um, yeah, up for the sehri, the final meal before the fast begins. I've just called a taxi, uh, should be here in five minutes. Okay, so time is running out, I need to quickly go and find a place to eat. I've got about, I think, 45 minutes left before the time for Sehri ends after which won't be able to eat anymore so uh, can I have a pasta please? I'll have a uh, tandoori Thank you Just went with this one Right, so I got this pasta, tandoori chicken pasta. And then I might have me some milk. Let's see how it goes. Nice. Okay, so that's Sehri done. Alhamdulillah, praise be to God. You see some views from here. Okay, eight minutes to go. Good morning. Right, what's the time? Right, so out for another day. Um, going to catch the Zuhr prayer now, the noon or afternoon prayer. Um, I'm gonna go to a local mosque which is looks quite nice from the outside, so I'll go and check that out. Uh, I'm staying in the Al Aziziyah area, which where the hotels are a lot more reasonably priced. It's a bit further out from the Grand Mosque, but the ones next to the mosque are just way too expensive, especially in Ramadan. Okay, so just looking at the temperature, because I'm feeling that heat, it's 33 degrees right now, and it's expected to reach a high of 35 degrees today. Um, tomorrow 36, next day 36, the day after 39 degrees. This is it, the Qatar Mosque. Is this open or not? Hmm. 
No? Oh, it's not open. That guy just told me it's not open. Wonder where that is. Oh my gosh. Now where do I go? Need to find another mosque. Okay, I hear someone announcing the Adhan here. Opposite the Qatar Mosque. So I guess I'll just go in there for now. I'm not sure why the big mosque, the Qatar mosque behind me is closed. The one I came out of now is more like a cabin. It reminds me of uh, some of the smaller non-purpose built mosques we have in London. Okay, let me come into this shade. Oh, I had sweat dripping down in that masjid. There was, there was no AC. Mic check, mic check. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Okay, so let's talk about Ramadan. Ramadan is a month of fasting, intense prayer and charity. It is the name of one of the months of the Islamic calendar, which is the lunar calendar based on the moon cycles. So we get around 29 or 30 days each month. It is the month when the light of guidance, the Quran was revealed. And by the way, I am doing a, another series parallel to this one about the Quran, summarizing the contents of the Quran. So you can check that one out to learn more about the Quran and what it's all about. I'll add a link in the description for that. So there's a verse in the Quran in chapter 2, verse 185, where God says, Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guide for humanity with clear proofs of guidance and the standard to distinguish between right and wrong. So whoever is present this month, let them fast. And the verse continues. So regarding fasting, it begins at Fajr time, the dawn prayer, which is around an hour before sunrise. And it continues through the day until sunset. To put it simply, fasting involves abstaining from food, water and intimate relations. Fasting in the month of Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. So it is an obligation for Muslims to do it. And regarding prayer, which is another one of the five pillars of Islam, an obligation, the five daily prayers uh, that, that are prayed throughout the year. In Ramadan, in addition to that, there is the extra prayers after the Isha prayer, the night prayer, um, each day where a portion of the Quran is covered. And usually the entire Quran is recited throughout the month of Ramadan. And regarding charity, in the month of Ramadan, people go above and beyond what they would normally donate throughout the rest of the year uh, because of the great reward in doing so in this month.